Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to BB and T Field in Winston Salem, North Carolina. Your Demon Deacons take on the Tulane Green Wave, who also enter at an 0 1 record. We're in week two of the 2016 college football season. Tulane will win the coin toss they elect to kick it away, so let's get underway. First play of the game, Tyler Cameron. Well, it's going to be a pass, usually to run, but maybe we should do this more often. Walter Smith, the new guy coming into the receiving court this year, first down 14 yards. However, we would have to punt it away. So now Tulane, here they come. They have a guy named Sherman Batty. He's their halfback, and you're going to hear me call him Sherman Badman Batty a lot this episode. Third and six, after a couple of yards gain, it is Pow. And pal, how? Chad McTaggart opened the tight end for Tulane. And Devin Powell, he connects on a first down. Another third and a five. Third and mediocre average yards you need. This is Devin Powell hitting Washington. Nathan Washington this time gets on the act second catch so far. And that has a first down. They drive all the way down to the Wake Forest one. And this is a powerhouse. Lazedric Thompson, the fullback. He looked like a lot more than a fullback there. I mean, look at him. He's not that big, but man, does he have the power in him. It's touchdown to Lane, and they go up 7-0. 420 left in the first. Only good thing, Wake Forest held to Lane to a long drive. They're not no huddle. Studio update. Three games, first one right here. LSU improves to 3 and knocks off number 9, Texas A&M, 34-27. The Aggies, well, they're without Johnny Manziel, and they fall to 0-2, probably more in the rankings. How about some ACC play? Syracuse, they get crushed by Notre Dame, 38-17. And Iowa State-Iowa, Battle of Iowa, Iowa State Cyclones come out ahead, 18-17. Iowa will also drop in the ranks. Back to our game. This is a bad man, Batty stiff arming his way to a first down for Tulane. And on second and one, yeah, he's going to break another tackle and he will get another first down. However, all is fair in love and war. And on second and eight, Ryan Janvian intercepts Devin Powell and he gets Wake Forest the ball back. First INT on defense this year for your Demon Deacons. And it sets up Wake Forest in a good starting field position around the 30. So now Cameron and the boys will come out. Dump pass to Desmond Wortham. Wortham will get the first down 14 yards. Just like the first play of the game with Walter Smith. And they move the chains. Now first and 10, 430 to play before half. Cameron slips screen to Worthman. Worthman has some room. Chuck move gets some five more. Down to the Tulane Green Wave 10. And just like that in the blink of an eye and in one play, the Wake Forest Demon Deacons are goal to go. And it'll be first and goal from the 10. Second and four now, or second and goal rather. It is Brandon O'Neill. Yeah, that's the tight end. And that's a touchdown. Design halfback handoff. Brandon O'Neill comes in for the tired Desmond Wortham. And Brandon O'Neill scores six. First touchdown of his career at Wake. Hope he has a lot more. Now, tie game at 7-7, minute 50 to before half. Usually something happens. We go down seven, we're down three, blah, blah, blah. You can t say that to all the critics you want. But, Devin Powell picks up a first down. And yeah, you, the critics might be right. We might be going down three and a half because... That is almost intercepted by Ford Howe. And Howe will force Tulane to get a field goal. Has to be good, of course. But, so far the critics are one for one. Yeah, we're down 10-7 going in a half. But look how much time's left. Minute 20, minute 21. We have all three timeouts. You know what that means? That means we can load up for a play. And with 44 seconds and counting... Still three timeouts, second and seven. We're going to let the game call this one. He chucks it downfield. 
Jonathan Williams. Touchdown, Wake Forest. You can take that critic and you can shut up right now because that is a bomb from Tyler Cameron. And that bomb from Cameron puts Demon Deacons up four. And that will send us in half. But not only that, Brennan O'Neill, take two. Would you please? Touchdown, Demon Deacons again. 21-10. We're in the fourth. And that's all she wrote, folks. Third and six. Little handoff to Wortham. We're going to call a play here on fourth down to extend the clock to Lings out of timeout. And your Demon Deacons are going to win. 21-10 final. Here at BB&T Field in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. 349 yards backed by passing and running by everyone who is anyone. And the Demon Deacons now improved to 1-1 heading into the final bye week of the 2016 college football season. Thank you for watching this edition of Wake Forest Football here on JT Plays. Player of the game goes to Ali Lamont. Eight tackles, four tackles for losses. He also had a forced fumble and an assisted tackle. Tyler Cameron, he did everything right with that pass to Williams before half. Once again, your final from BB&T, 21-10. Demon Deacons win this. They improved to 1-1. Tulane to 0-2. We'll see you next week for week three by week edition, the final one of the 2016 college football season. Hope you had a good one. We'll see you later. Take care.